is five in the morning and the maintenance team at Penang Hill is getting ready to start their day. This is their daily routine. They have only an hour to complete the track checking, ensuring the track is safe for the funicular train to start its operation at 6.30 a.m. can be traced back as early as the 1890s when residents and visitors could only rely on doolies or ponies to go uphill. They were keen to have a railway for easier transportation. The initial attempt to build the first hill railway started around 1900 with the idea of using water to drive the turbine. Unfortunately, it failed and was never operational. The effort continued with a detailed site survey done by Federated Malay States Railways resident engineer Arnold Robert Johnson in 1909. He proposed the Funicular Railway, which was a cost-effective and energy-efficient solution for Penang Hill's difficult hill terrain, in which very steep gradients can be adopted and a great height surmounted in a comparatively short distance. Thus, the birth of the second generation of trams in the 1920s with the two-section system. Upon its completion in October 1923, the Penang Hill Funicular Railway was the first of its kind in Southeast Asia. The wooden coaches continued its operation till 1977, when it was replaced by the Swiss fabricated car. After 87 years of service, it was upgraded into a single section system in 2010. In the year 2007 and 2008, uh, the state government as well as the federal government discovered that with the influx of queries into uh, Penang and Malaysia, we need to upgrade Penang Hill railway train in order to bring in uh, more tourists in the shortest possible time and at the same time to reduce the queue that uh, they have to wait in order to uh, have this good customer experience. And then that particular project of course uh, took us about two years to install this new train as we see it today. The train takes up to 100 passengers in just four and a half minutes for every trip. The exciting journey to Penang Hill starts with the funicular system. This is a fourth generation train. The journey used to take 30 to 40 minutes, now it only takes four and a half minutes to bring passengers and visitors up to the Penang Hill to enjoy its natural beauty. We have a team of expert technicians and engineers working around the clock every single day to ensure the system works reliably and safely. On top of that, we have twice a year scheduled maintenance to ensure that the funicular systems will always run on the tip-top conditions to bring visitors up to the Penang Hill to enjoy the fresh cool air, wonderful view of Georgetown and also the natural flora and fauna. The funicular track stretches a distance of 1.996 kilometers from the lower to upper station, which is the longest in Asia. with 11 viaducts constructed to overcome the extreme irregularity of the slope of the hill and the steepest tunnel track in the world with a steepness of 27.9 degrees. A funicular railway is powered by an AC main drive motor with two cars connected by a haulage rope, with one car sending the line and the other descending. In normal operations, the funicular system runs at 10 meters per second. In the event of power outage, where power is lost, the emergency genset kicks in and provides electrical power to drive the system at 5 meters per second. 
In an emergency situation when everything else is not powered, auxiliary drive system is activated whereby a diesel engine drives a hydraulic system to power the coaches down to the lower station to disembark all the passengers. Semua passengers datang bukit bendera, saya seronok, gembira. The funicular system has been running for almost a century since its inception and it will continue to journey and remain as the unique experience of Penang Hills.